Before I ask you about the game itself, I was just going to ask you about, you know, it's going to be Mark Morris' first game coaching against Clarkson. I was just wondering, you know, you worked here for him a couple of years early in your career. What, what are some things you kind of remember about that experience as a young assistant and in what ways did he maybe kind of help you? Uh, you know, well, he's a good mentor. I mean, I see yeah. in touch him all these years. You know, Mark and I are uh, um, I always talk, enjoy him. He's uh, always lends a hand in terms of talking X's nose in hockey. You can't talk enough hockey with Mo. So, yeah. um, you know, it is, you know, I get a chance. We stay in the same hotel with him down at RPI in the Union. So, I've got a uh, Chance probably was mostly caught up with him in a long time there at the hotel a few times and yeah. uh, shot the breeze a little bit with him. But uh, over the years for him, early in, in my career, you know, I was I was young, I was uh, uh, you know just in my third year of coaching, and uh, you know took me his wing, talked to, talked a lot of shop with him and that, and gave me a lot of responsibility. So um, you know from that perspective, it was uh, you know I have nothing but good uh, good feelings, and good thoughts about Mark and, and my career. Will be a little bit kind of a strange experience though, to see Mark, you know, on the St. Lawrence bench because he's so associated with Clarkson from his past. I mean, he's, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> I, hey, you know, he's a big part of uh, the rich tradition here at Clarkson. So obviously, yeah. it's uh, you know, that's a uh, that's a tough one to swallow. Okay, and the guys walk by his picture every day because it's on the wall there. So. <laughs> just about the game itself, I was going to ask you as the players, how much motivation is there? You know, coming off of what happened last year in the playoffs to play this team again in that building. Uh, yeah, you don't need that. I mean, obviously, yeah. hey, it, it, it hurt was stung. We both teams were playing really well at that stage of the season, and it's a goal yeah. each night that differentiates between you going to Lake Placid, right? Um, but, you know, for us, it's just, uh, it's about us playing well and playing, uh, it's a key game for us heading into break. You want to go on a positive note and, um, you know, for, you know, that's how we're looking at it. Coming off of Saturday's loss, you want to make sure we get uh, some positive momentum here heading into break. And the way you guys have played on the road this year, I mean, you know, it's only 10 miles away, but you kind of like the idea this is the road game this time and you'll be playing them here later because you guys have been pretty good on the road so far this year. Yeah, you know, it's it's one of those, it seems like we've enjoyed the road so far. Last year was complete opposite. You know, it's it's yeah. weird how that happens sometimes, but for us, it's just, uh, uh, you know, for us, the consistency of playing our style and our, our type of game and all that, it seems to be a little bit uh, more consistent on the road, but, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's we got to find a way to win a hockey game more than Friday night. It's a good hockey team. Looks like they're deep. I've uh, watched them on tape, and uh, they're not getting as much time and space. We're going to have to earn it, and we're going to get over about the St. Lawrence games coming up, or St. Lawrence game coming up this weekend. Uh, what do you like about, you know, playing the game in Appleton? What's fun about that atmosphere? Uh, definitely just a great atmosphere. You know, the barns always going to pack, so it's always a lot of fun. So we just got to try to have a good start and keep the legs going after that. Do you kind of remember, like, you know, what your first impressions, the first year you played the game there? Like, what do you think it just... You know, the, the rivalry, the first time we kind of saw it firsthand. Uh, yeah, it was definitely amazing. It's the biggest rivalry that I've ever been a part of. I think it's one of the biggest rivalry in hockey all around the world. So I'll be in there my first time, didn't really know what to expect. It's just a small little rink that's packed, so it's a pretty amazing atmosphere there. And did you ever see any of the Clarkson St. Lawrence games when your cousin was playing here? Was um, closer, I was pretty young. I don't remember specifically seeing if it was St. Lawrence. Yeah. I'd never been there, I know. But I remember coming down and watching his games. Just not, I don't know if they were St. Lawrence or not. Aside from just a rivalry game, it's also two teams that are kind of up near the top of the standings and trying to stay in the top four. Is, even if it wasn't a rivalry game, how big a deal would it be just to be playing that team right now? Uh, it's definitely a huge game. I mean, it's our last game of the season. Mm -hmm. It can bump us up into the top four spot, or it could be uh, drop out of it. So, I mean, it's always a huge game, so mm -hmm. it should be interesting and exciting. I was curious, too, like uh, just last year's playoffs, how much of an impact does that have on this game, too? Is that something that's still kind of fresh in your guys' memories have come up a little short there? Is yeah, that... uh, exactly. That's something we definitely won't forget. Yeah. It'll be a little extra drive in that game to make sure we can come out on top. I just want to ask you about the St. Lawrence Carson rivalry. I was wondering, since you've been here, what are some things you've noticed most about what these games are like compared to other games you've played? Uh, they're fun. They're, they're obviously a blast to play in the field rivalry. goes back uh, a bit, so. Uh, you know, it just adds, adds to the game, adds to the guys' excitement about it, and adds their energy. What's well, different when you play them there as opposed to playing them here? Like, what are some things you notice about the Appleton experience? That's really loud there. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, a, it's an older building, and it's got lots of old wood inside, so, you know, mm -hmm. everything echoes off each other, which, which makes which makes it more fun. And you guys have their student section not right behind you, but pretty close to you. Is that a fun aspect of the game, too, like hearing some of the insults that occasionally get tossed your way? Where you're yeah, it's, uh, and... you know, it adds to it as well. Uh, yeah. You know, they're right there during warm-ups as well, so they're already there mm -hmm. when we're there warming up. So, um, you know, just it adds to the environment. As a player, is it kind of fun sometimes when you have all those games where you get people just giving you the business all the time and stuff? And yeah, you, can... uh, you know, it gives you the underdog mentality, and it yeah. kind of, you know, adds to that. So, um, you know, it brings more energy to your game and, and hopefully the team's game. I was curious to ask you about just uh, after, after the playoff series last year. Does that give you guys a little extra motivation to play this yeah, year? Yeah, it does. Uh, it leaves a little bad taste uh, in our mouths from the guys that were here last year. So, um, you know, we just need to stick to our game this weekend and, and everything will work out. The other thing I was going to ask you about, I think obviously you guys were here back in the day, but, you know, the old Clarkson coaches, the St. Lawrence coach now, is that something you guys have even kind of thought about at all? Or is that something uh, that doesn't really no, matter? No, no, not really. We don't yeah. think about that too much. We just got to worry about our own team and, and yeah. go from there. All right, thanks.